Boomer. I change your bum life. You fight me, it's a celebration. Yeah, I would beat you when you uh, sign to fight me, it's a celebration. You ring back home, you ring your wife. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Conor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. We're rich, baby. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the fifth round. Um, as always, myself, Stephen Moosterius. And, you know, today, I, I kind of want to step away from the Hobbs Odd train, finally. You know, the, everybody kind of breaking down how Volkanovski just looked amazing against the Korean zombie. And the whirlwind right now going around in the MMA community of who won Piotr Jan and uh, Aljamain Sterling that first round. And I don't know. I kind of want to step away from that clearly. Finally give us a, a clean slate. So this uh, this weekend, actually, we got the UFC uh, fight night, Vicente Luque versus Bilal Muhammad. And uh, before I break down the main fight, clearly, it's the only fight a lot of people are looking forward to which is my point here. Um, I know I'm hearing a lot like from, you know, my, my favorite like podcast and my favorite uh, analysts and shit from MMA right now that are sitting there breaking this down, saying how it's, it's almost like probably the worst part of the year uh, name wise and all this stuff about how, like, honestly, I think the only person like there's William Knight's fighting um, good old uh, Chris Barnett who had that crazy spinning heel kick against the blown up uh, John Vallant. And I don't, I don't know. There's, it's not many names, and it's even funny too because the co-main event is uh, two. Just I have, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna say you or know anything about them, but uh, two UFC fighters that are literally or MMA fighters that are literally making their debut for the UFC. So it's kind of like shows you the talent level and one or not talent level is hard to say, but the name value that there is on this card, the lack of so. Um, but as a fan, if I'm being honest with you guys, this is, this is my favorite time to be a UFC fan and to be an MMA fan, to watch these cards that aren't necessarily, you know, known for the names and whatnot, because this is how we're going to get to know these guys. This is their chance to prove something. So usually, you know, usually the bigger fight cards that we have that, I mean, I know it's tough to kind of talk about now because recency bias UFC 273 was off the wall like there's so many people in there so there's so many great performances and everything but like you know the bigger name you usually get you know the the more you you tend to see the guys kind of like hold back a little bit um especially in comparison of what gave them that name because they're afraid to lose in a crazy fashion maybe you know just afraid to lose it all in anything because they don't want to lose their name value so these are the fight cards that i really love because we're gonna have two or three always that have some crazy finish that just gets skyrocketed into the, you know, the next, maybe even a pay-per-view card next time we see maybe headline the prelims, maybe kick off the night just because of what their performances were on these fight nights. So I am very, very excited for these fight nights. Um, and literally though, this is the only tough thing about actually talking about this stuff, especially to like friends that might not know MMA or anything like that. Like, there literally is only one uh, fight on the card that we could even sit here and li really break down. Um, and it's Vicente Luque versus Blah Muhammad. Clearly, that's what the main event is. It's what the fight night's named after. But um, it's a rematch. And clearly, in the first one, Vicente Luque knocked out Blah Muhammad in the first round. And this one's tough because I just kind of like talked about how whoever wins this fight, I think personally, should fight Gilbert Burns um, to see you know, who's next for maybe the the loser between, like, Hamzat and Colby Covington if that fight does happen. Or even, like, say Leon Edwards loses to uh, Kamaru Usman. Like, maybe they step in to fight that guy. So they're, like, right on the next doorstep. Whoever wins this fight's on the doorstep of fighting for a number one contender's fight. And both of these guys have fought Stephen Waterboy Thompson. Actually, I'm pretty sure Vicente Luque is, like, 13-2 and two in his last 15 fights. It's going all the way back to like 2016 I think and the only two losses he's had are decision losses to Leon Edwards and Stephen Wonderboy Thompson so um I don't know and then you got Bilal Muhammad clearly who he's like 21 and 3 in his career and the only time we've seen him loss is I mean clearly we saw him lose against uh Vicente Luque clearly and then uh I know he had that tough one um against uh Leon Edwards that I think most of us thought he lost, but he also lost to Jeff Neal, and yeah, I know he got poked in the eye by Leon Edwards. Technically, it wasn't a loss, but he was on his way to lose that fight. 
Um, so I guess the judges kind of saved it. I think there was a reason we didn't see that rematch. Um, and then we, most recently, we just saw his uh, really, really good uh, grounded out, grinded out decision against Demon Waterboy Thompson. And before that, I think it was Damian Maya. So it's really tough because I went back and looked, and this is the this is where it's really difficult for these fights because it's it's tough to see a path for Bilal Muhammad to win. I know that his game plan is to take him down and to grind it out per usual with the pressure and everything. But, I mean, the man's only got two finishes in the UFC. I think one was in 2016, and I think the other one was, like, 2019. I think he had a submission. Um, so that's it, just really tough because he's very – out of all his wins, he's only got two finishes in the UFC. It is kind of crazy. And uh, we see how people like Jeff Neal or uh, Leon Edwards, like high-paced guys, do against him who can keep that pressure. If Vicente Luque is one of them, Vicente Luque is out here finishing people left and right. I mean, good Lord. I mean, he shows that he can go all three, all five rounds. and I mean, he's also shown that he can go out and start getting a freaking getting a freaking banger with, uh, like, Tyron Woodley. gets a, Like, they both rock each other. He ends up submitting him. Um, gets in a firefight with Michael Chiesa and submits Michael Chiesa, which nobody saw that coming. So, like, I think... Vicente Luque has way many more, uh, way more uh, tools in the toolbox to to win this fight, and I do think he's going to win this fight. Um, I would not be shocked at like a third, fourth round, you know, finish. I'm thinking TKO probably again. I definitely don't think we're going to see a first round knockout. I could be wrong, but I just I don't feel it. I think Bilal has a lot to prove here, and I know he is actually prepping for Ramadan as well. So that's another kind of notch for Vicente Luque. He doesn't have to worry about those those things. So we might see a Bilal Muhammad come out. It's kind of flat, just trying to prove something. But he's, like, killing himself right now because Ramadan takes everything out of these guys. So um, I definitely, like I said, I think I'm going Luque. Third, fourth round finish. Wouldn't be shocked at a submission. Um, he'd have to really get him rocked, though, to get that submission, which he's known to do. Um, but I really think he, he really picks apart Bilal Muhammad with the uh, – with a stand up, and I don't. Blah might get an early takedown or something, but I don't see him keeping Luke down very crazy. So, um, again, could be wrong. It's my favorite thing about MMA, but I am very, I'm looking very forward to uh, all these guys that are trying to go out here and make a name for themselves. I know we got Dracar close uh, out here playing or fighting, and yeah, just a bunch of a bunch of no namers. Not even to be mean. I'm not taking anything away from. These guys are all beasts. There's a reason they're in the UFC, but I am very excited to see them make their name for themselves. So can't wait for it. And like I said, I hope the winner between Luke and Blah Muhammad either fight, you know, a Gilbert Burns or maybe go on to fight, uh, you know, the loser between Hamza, Colby, maybe even the loser between Kamaru Usman and Leon Edwards. Like one of those. I think it would be really cool. So again, this is the fifth round. As always, your boy Steven Moose there. So hope you guys are. Fucking excited for these fight cards, baby. Woo!